Good morning, everyone. Um, so, uh, in this short video, we're going to look at uh, example 4.2. Uh, so, it's still the use of uh, Pontryagin's maximum principle. So, last time we did example 1. Now, I want us to do example 2. So, the example is about uh, minimizing that cost function subject to this uh, um, condition x dot equals u with the initial condition that x zero x at zero is equal to one so the first step is to form the Hamiltonian function which is given by f plus lambda g but we know what our f is so we know that uh, f is is the integrand here that is f and we know that g is the right hand side of the constraint so um, having said that having said that our Hamiltonian is x squared plus u squared plus lambda u Now here we must note that in our in the cost function for this exercise, um, the term we usually note phi x of t f is missing, so that means that this term is equal to zero, um, and of course from the form of the cost function t f is equal to 1 and t not is equal to 0 right so um, we have the Hamiltonian now we can write dot lambda dot t which is equal to minus derivative of Hamiltonian with respect to x and that is negative 2 x uh, and uh, this equation will be associated with uh, the transversality condition which we obtain from the formula lambda tf because partial phi x tf with respect to x so in this case because this is equal to zero so the condition we get here is lambda at 1 is equal to 0. Now the optimality condition is partial h partial u is equal to 2u plus lambda that is 0 implying that u star is equal to minus lambda t over 2. Okay, uh, so the next thing we need to do is to because we know uh, from uh, from uh, the constraint equation here, this equation, we have that x dot of t equals u, which means it's equal to minus half lambda t. So we've, we've used that. We've used that, that here. And then the next equation is lambda dot t is equal to minus 2x. 
into x of t. So the first equation involves x and lambda. The second equation also involves lambda and x, which means that we cannot solve uh, the first equation without separate from the second equation and vice versa. And therefore, this system is a coupled system of differential equation, and we know how to solve that, such equations. Um, of course, here we have the initial condition x of 0 equals 1. And for the second equation, we have the final condition or the terminal condition, which is lambda at 1 equals 0. So let us rewrite the system in matrix, matrix form. So we have uh, x dot lambda dot equals 0 minus half minus 2, 0 x lambda. So our mat matrix A is uh, 0 minus half minus 2, 0, which has the eigenvalues lambda 1 equals 1, lambda 2 equals negative 1. And uh, with that, we can find the eigenvectors. So eigenvector associated to this one is 1, 2. So 1, negative 2. And the eigenvector associated to that eigenvalue is 1, 2. And therefore, the solution of this system solution of this system is x of t lambda of t equals k1 1 2 and 1 2 is associated with e to the power is associated with negative 1 so we have e the power minus 1 plus k2 1 negative 2 to the power t. And having that, we can separate these two equations, of course. Uh, we write xt x of t equals k1 to the power minus t plus k2 to the power of t and lambda t is 2k 2k1 to the minus t minus 2k2 to the power t now using the initial and terminal conditions that we had that we have uh, we'll, ha we'll see that uh, k1 plus k2 is equal to 1 and 2k e to the minus 1 minus 2k 2e two e is equal to 0 so we solve that simultaneously for k1 and k2 we obtain k1 is equal to e over e plus e minus 1 which is the same as e squared over e squared plus 1 and k2 is 1 minus k1 which is 1 over 1 plus e squared so because of that we write uh, so we, we write uh, this this solution uh, with those values of k1 and k2 to obtain x star of t equals e squared over e squared plus 1 the minus t plus 1 over e squared plus 1 e to the t Uh, which we can
can rewrite as 2e over e squared plus 1 bracket e times e to the minus t plus e to the minus 1 over t over 2 which is the same as 2e e squared plus 1 here we have e to the t minus 1 plus e to the minus t minus 1 over 2 remembering that e to the alpha okay so e to the s plus e to the minus s over 2 is equal to hyperbolic hyperbolic cos of uh, of s And similarly, we will we remember that e to the s minus e to the minus s over 2 is the hyperbolic sign of s. So, this is the bracket. Um, therefore, what we obtain here is 2e over e squared plus 1 hyperbolic cos of minus 1. So that's our optimal trajectory. Now to find the optimal control u star of t is equal to we know it's uh, negative half uh, negative half lambda star of t which is negative half 2e squared over e squared plus 1 with the minus t minus 2 over 1 plus e squared e to the t we proceed the same way as we did earlier um, to obtain uh, okay so we first do this we write uh, this as 1 over e squared plus 1 e to the t minus e squared e to the minus t and then from there from there we write we take e out or maybe 2e out 2e over e squared plus 1 and that will lead to e to the t minus 1 minus e to the minus t minus 1 over 2 which finally gives 2e over e squared plus 1 hyperbolic sign of t minus 1 yeah so we now we have determined uh, both the optimal control and the optimal trajectory so that's the end of our of our solution